New research finds sudden cardiac arrest, long thought to be a deadly condition that strikes without warning, isn't so sudden. The study shows many patients miss or even ignore the early warning signs, sometimes weeks earlier. The survival rate for sudden cardiac arrest is less than 7%, but with early detection and medical intervention, that rate jumps to 32%. Our Dr. Tara Narula is a cardiologist at Lenox Hill Hospital here in New York. Tara, good morning. Good morning. 350,000 people die because of this. What did this study find? Right, so despite our medical advances, the prognosis of sudden cardiac arrest is really dismal. As you mentioned, less than 10% survival. Most people die within 10 minutes. It strikes people in the prime of their life, around the age of 65. And even when they recover, many are left with neurological damage, hypoxic brain injury. In this study, what researchers did is find that there may be key windows of intervention prior to the actual arrest. They looked at about 839 patients who had had sudden cardiac arrest and then got information about the four weeks preceding the arrest. And they in fact found that about 51% had at least one symptom prior to the cardiac arrest. In addition, 80% had symptoms at least an hour or greater before the arrest mm -hmm. and over 90% had symptoms within the 24 hours preceding the arrest. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, only 12% sought medical help with a doctor for their symptoms, and only 19% called EMS when they had symptoms. So what are those symptoms? So the symptoms they identified primarily were chest pain in about 46%, shortness of breath in about 18%, some nonspecific symptoms like abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, back pain in about 20%, flu-like symptoms in about 10%, and syncope, which is passing out or palpitations. But, so how is sudden cardiac arrest different than a heart attack? This is confusing for a lot of people. So a heart attack is a circulation problem. The arteries that supply blood and oxygen to the heart muscle get blocked. That causes death of the heart muscle tissue or cells. Many people can survive and do survive heart attacks. Sudden cardiac arrest, on the other hand, is an electrical malfunction of the heart where it stops beating. That essentially shuts down the entire pumping function of the heart, which means no blood is going anywhere mm. to the brain, to the vital organs. So you lose your pulse, you lose consciousness, and as we mentioned, you die relatively quickly unless you receive CPR or defibrillation. So if you recognize that you have some of these symptoms, mm -hmm. what can you do as sort of intervention? Right, so the most important thing is not to minimize or ignore the symptoms, especially if there are symptoms like chest pain or shortness of breath, and especially if you have risk factors for coronary heart disease, which is causes 70% of sudden cardiac arrest. So if you have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, those need to be kept in and check. Are those the same with each gender, men so, and women? Interestingly, men are two to three times more likely in general to have sudden cardiac arrest, but in this study, both men and women reported the same frequency of having symptoms. The symptoms differed though, so men tended to have more chest pain and women tended to have more shortness of breath. Mm. Listen to your body. Absolutely. And you know, those people who called EMS in the study were 32% were likely to survive as opposed to 6% who did not call EMS. So wow. early intervention is key. It's really important mm. knowledge. All right, Dr. Tarnarula, thank, thank you. you so much.